Hey guys, it's Elias. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. In the previous Type R video, you guys saw me install the Acuity Spacer and that obviously the brand new shift knob that I also think is gonna be amazing. So now we're gonna go for a drive and I'm gonna let you know exactly the difference from the stock one to the one I installed and why I love it so much. spacer the acuity pedal spacer I've been looking forward to installing that for a very long time I've had it for about two months and just everything got away from me the time just it's not enough time for me to do everything that I need to and want to in the day fortunately I got the time to do it and oh my god I'm so glad I did I'm actually upset it took me this long to do it because it's completely changed the way the car feels the way the car drives it should have came like this from the factory so a couple of things. The reason that Honda puts the accelerator pedal under the brake pedal, as it is from stock, is because, well, legality reasons. I don't know if you guys remember the whole unintended acceleration debacle from Toyota. It was quite a problem. So what did they do? What did most manufacturers do? Well, and especially in, in automatic cars, but now every car, the brake pedal's up here and the gas pedal's down there. And that's awful, I hate that, because it makes heel towing that much more difficult. So that's the reason Honda has put uh, the brake pedal so much higher than the accelerator pedal. Excuse me while I enjoy this a little bit. Oh yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> Quite lovely. It's just the, the, where the brake pedal is and the accelerator pedal is, I can, I can pivot my foot so much better, so much easier than it was before. So needless to say, after putting the pedal spacer in, I've been taking every opportunity possible to drive the car. It's almost like a brand new car to me at this point. It just feels so much better to drive. And now let's talk about the shift knob because the shift knob and the pedal spacer have completely changed the driving dynamics of the car for me because the cockpit controls just weren't perfect for me and now they are. So uh, I just got this shift knob from eBay, it was like 60 bucks or something like that. I'll see if I can find the link and put it down in the description for you guys if you're interested. But what it is, is it is a countersunk shift knob and uh, it's really easy to install just like any other Honda shift knob. This actually works in any Honda car. I can put it in the Prelude, I can put it in the S2000 very, very easily. So uh, it's a countersunk shift knob, so I could, I could have put it two different ways. I could have taken out the, the shifter nut that this has, the nut holder, and I could put it really, really, really down low, and it'll kind of give me a shorter shift than it came from factory. I don't think that would have been good because the, sh the short shifter already stocked from the factory is more than good enough, and honestly, I think it's too short. I think it's too crunched up in there. It doesn't feel as good as it should. So what I did, I left the, the bottom nut on the shifter and it basically raised the shift lever arm from uh, where it was stock. So if you remember the stock Type R shift knob is a little ball that goes on top of the, the little screw nut and it felt good and you know I can't complain, it really, it really does uh, feel good to the hand but it just wasn't perfect for me, it just wasn't you know, it wasn't all there for me. This is much improved. First, because it weighs more, so it has a more positive, engaging feeling. Second, because being longer now, since I, the way I installed it, it's a little bit longer than the stock one. It's actually closer to the steering wheel. So when I go shift, I go from the steering wheel to the shifter, back to the steering wheel, back to the shifter, much faster, much easier. So the shift engagement is better. The distance from the shifter to the uh, steering wheel is much better and it just feels a lot more engaging than it used to feel.
So as you can see, the shifting is just way better than it was before. I can, I can just blip that throttle so quickly. I don't even have to think about it. I'm back to my original muscle, muscle memory. I can just com completely blip the throttle, shift, and have no issues at all. I am completely loving the new setup. I can't wait to take this out to the track. Now before I do, of course, there's a lot more modifications I have to take. So this winter I'll be uh, modifying this car pretty extensively. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.